Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. All right, so we're on to episode 10 of Road to 400. What we're going to do today, I've got a little bit of time here before practice. Um, so I watched my video, and one of the big things is understanding. Sorry, let me fix this a little bit. One of the big things is, is trying to understand your swing and what you need to work on. And so watching my video, the, the thing that the first thing I saw was that I was old and couldn't move. But now that I have that started to get figured out, I still need to work on making this move more. So this way and not that way. I still have a little bit of that in my swing. So we're going to try to correct that today. And I'm going to use this little chuck it toy. I think it's called a chuck it. It's a dog toy, but uh, we've been messing around with it and practice trying to feel this move here. And so we'll, we'll, we'll mess around with it some more. But what I've noticed with this, so we'll set the player up uh, on their right knee. You can do it two hands or one hand. And so I'm just going to go basically to contact and then I'm gonna try to feel myself extending palm up towards my target or towards the pitcher. I actually feel right center field. But the thing is, it gives you pretty big, pretty good feedback. Because if you take it, instead of making this move, let's say you make this move, the ball will typically go down and to the left like that. And I want the ball to be able to fly more out that way. Okay. Um, same thing. I've noticed that if you if you pull if you pull hard like this. The ball will fly out that way. I want it to go a little bit more that way. I just didn't want to hit the camera. And so you've got to feel yourself make this move. So I'm trying to get palm up. I'm trying to let my upper body go back instead of pulling out like that. And then I'm trying to get through this way. So the ball will be released slightly to right center field, but on a line, not like that. So we're gonna work on that for a little bit here today. I've been doing a lot of like body stuff, just trying to get my body faster, but I haven't worked on the actual swing mechanics in a little while, so we'll work on that. The one other thing, I should have mentioned this earlier, a lot of people keep commenting on my mask, take my mask off so you can hear me better. Um, whether you believe in masks or don't believe in masks or whatever, the facility we work out in has a rule that you have to wear a mask while indoors, and so, if I want to work out in here, I have to wear it. So I think everyone can hear me well enough. I'm pretty sure. If you can't, I'll put the volume up a little bit, but I think if you just turn it up a little bit, you'll be fine. Okay, so let's work on it. So right, right knee down, left foot forward. I have not done this a whole lot. I've only done it a little bit. I've used it with our players, but I personally haven't done it. So this is a little bit of an experimental day for me as well. I'll do a few here. You're not going to see where the ball goes. Then I'll move the camera. But that was right kind of where I wanted it. Right center field. Line drive. There's a little bit more towards the second baseman. Yeah, right there. That's a line drive right through the right center field gap. Right there again. So again, I'll do one incorrectly here. If I go this way, and instead of making this move, I make this move where I come over the top and my left shoulder pulls out. The ball goes down, straight down into the ground. That might look like an exaggerated move, but I'll have players come in here and that's how they swing. You put this in their hand, boom, and they just start chucking the ball. Oh, it's called a chuck it. That's Start chucking the ball down and to the left. Try a good one now. Got 
and if you watch my lead arm, it's not working this way. It's gonna work that way. I'm trying to finish with my lead arm up. I'm trying to think about keeping my hands high. That one wasn't as good. I'll have to watch the video there. Felt like I got a little long. That one was pulled a little bit to the left. So that was a good one. That one's right to center. A little bit more to right center. It's good right there. So that's what I'm going for. Let's go two more. I'll do some more on my own. I don't want to bore you with too many of them. I'm gonna try a little bit one hand, just a couple. I like the feel of feeling my right hand getting palm up, but without pushing forward. So a few issues I see players will just push forward like this. And when they're doing that, they'll also never get this palm up. So they'll do this. And when you do this, you can just see if I start doing this, my barrel wants to get out here. And then it's gonna cut that way. Versus if I make this move, my barrel goes back, but it goes on the inside like that. It's here. Now that way. Okay. Let's see how it is one handed. A little bit to left field, left center. That was to center. Let's see if I can get one to right center. There we go. That was the center. Let's go two more. That's the center. One more. There we go. That was the right center. That one, I really tried to feel this. So I go back, then I go palm up, and then I'm from the inside. I'm gonna go do a few more of these by myself, but hopefully that helps you out. Um, in like two days, maybe tomorrow actually, I'm gonna uh, get back to med ball throws and overload under the bat, get moving fast again, then we'll retest. That's all we got. I'm going to work. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.